Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the Google Cybersecurity Certification versus the CompTIA Security Plus Certification. Which is best? Which one should you take? What's the differences? All of that good stuff. I got my notes right here so I don't waste no time and I could just get straight into the information that you guys clicked on this channel for. Let's get right into it. First thing I wanna talk about is the certification type and recognition. The Google Cybersecurity Certification is a non-accredited certification and the CompTIA Security Plus Certification is industry recognized. The Google Cybersecurity Certification is very good for boosting your resume, getting your resume to look good for all the entry level cybersecurity professionals. And the CompTIA Security Plus is widely known by a lot of employers. If you get the cybersecurity certification, it is going to look really good on your resume and getting the Google cybersecurity certification is going to help with just boosting that resume and making it look good to the point where you don't only have the CompTIA Security Plus, but you also have the Google security certification. Next, we're gonna talk about the skill level and focus of the certifications. For the Google security certification, it's very entry level focused. So all the people that are brand new to cybersecurity or IT in general, this is where you would want to start. You'll get a lot of hands-on, job-ready skill labs that would prepare you for jobs like SOC analyst and stuff like that. And like I said, it's very entry level and beginner friendly. Now the Security Plus certification is entry level intermediate. It's get towards the same people when it comes to SOC analysts and stuff like that. And it gives you a broad foundation and broad understanding of cybersecurity in general. The topics covered in the Google Cybersecurity Certification are managing security risks, networks and network security, Linux and SQL, practice labs and tools like Splunk, asset threat and vulnerabilities, detection and response, automation with Python, and in the end of the certification, it prepares you for jobs like not even just in the end, but throughout the certification, you will be doing things that you will be able to put on your resume to boost that resume. Like I was saying earlier in the video, this certification really helps with boosting that resume, giving that resume some fluff. Now the CompTIA Security Plus, the five domains are general security concepts, threat vulnerabilities and mitigations, security architecture, secure, security operations, security program management, and oversight. Now let's talk about the cost and time of both of them. For the Google Cybersecurity certification, it's $49 a month. Your first week is free, right? You get a seven day free trial. And after that, you're gonna be charged that $49. And then every month from there on, you're gonna be charged that $49. The way how they set up the certification, you should take about six months. They set it up to where it should take about six months, but a lot of people take less time than that to get it done. You're gonna have a lot of hands on and you're gonna have quizzes after every section. It's not like a exam proctor thing. It's just each section, you go through it, you get your little quizzes. At the end of each section, you get a quiz. You gotta pass with a certain grade. And once you're able to pass that, you complete that section. You move on to the next section. And once you get to the next section, you repeat that until you finish all eight sections. Now the CompTIA Security Plus is about $404. You could either go on YouTube and watch videos like Professor Messer and stuff like that, or get some training on Udemy to prepare for this exam or you could go through CompTIA and pay $2,499 for the live training. I'm not sure if the price has changed ever since then, but you could pay that amount. You'll get the live training with hands-on on everything. And then you also get an exam voucher within that bundle and a retake. So if in case you fail the exam, you're able to retake the exam. And of course it is proctored. You could take it in person or you could take it online. Either which way you will be, be 
being watched by someone. Let's talk about the career impact and next steps for these certifications. Of course, like I said before, the Google cybersecurity certification is for those people who are fresh. You've never done anything cybersecurity or IT wise. You want to know where to start. I would start with the Google cybersecurity professional certification. That's what let's get to it. The security plus now is more for people who already have an understanding of IT, but still entry level to intermediate. Another thing I want to mention before I forget is if you decide to do the Google cybersecurity certification first before you do the security plus after you complete the Google cybersecurity course and you get your certification you get a discount to put towards the security plus certification because the Google cybersecurity certification in all honesty is kind of like a stepping stone to get to the security plus and the CYSA plus and these exams it's it's like a beginner certification after you go through the course you complete the course and you get the certification they give you a discount that can go towards the security plus certification so keep that in mind when you doing this now for me I got the security plus before I did the Google cyber security certification if I could have went back I would have did the Google first, then the Security Plus, then the CYSA Plus, and Pentest Plus, and so on and so forth. But either which way, I still was able to pass all my certification. That don't really matter to me. But if I had to start from scratch, that's the way I would have went about it. Guys, in my opinion, both certifications are great certifications, and I think that you should get both. I hope this video was very helpful. If you have any questions and you feel that there's something that I missed to touch on or there's something that I didn't elaborate on enough for you to understand, just comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.